morning, happy Thanksgiving everyone. Morning, morning. Good morning, Aya. What's poppin' baby love? <laughs> Phoenix Wagwan. You know, Phoenix may not forget about you, but I was like super busy, as you can see. You know, but busy bad, but I lie. Um, I'm here to drop off a couple of cakes to these customers. I had to leave them till today. I was too, too tired last night. So I'm just come on, come lay down. I tell them, so me drop it off in the morning. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good morning, Rosalie. Shakni, good morning, morning, Trisha. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. God is so good. Giving God thanks. No turkey for me this year. No celebration for me this year. I might just head into the kitchen and bake this year. You know, um, I give God thanks for a lot of things. Thank you, Paulette. And happy belated birthday to your daughter too, Paulette. I give God thanks for many things, many things. A roof over my head, you know, my eyesight. Just the little things. You know, things that might seem menial to a lot of you guys, I give God thanks for. I am not a big, I'm not big on turkey meat. Um, no matter how much you season it, it just never tastes good to me. It's just something to fill, but it never tastes good to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, you know, I did turkeys in the past, but when I did those turkeys, um, when I do the turkey, them in the past, but I never like them. The only thing we eat are the stuffing because I had a nice bacon stuffing with it. That's it. But I am not big on turkey at all. At all, at all, at all am I big on turkey. Nope, I'm not big on turkey. Thank you, Roxanne. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Good morning, darlings. Good morning. Yeah, I'm not a turkey person, Shanique. Not a turkey person. Not. I'm going down to the South Bronx to do a drop. You last minute customers who call and want cake. What I've noticed about my customers, they're doing doubles. They're buying they're buying sorrel cakes and they're buying rum cake. If they buy the sorrel cake, then buy another cake. So with that said, I think I'm going to make the Thanksgiving special something like that. You know? Like a mix and match type of thing. Because that's what I've noticed um, based on what I've seen on my website. Fork. To continue on Michelou Parkway, follow signs for I-87 South Deegan Expressway. You know, like the trend on my website is for... They, they, they're mixing and matching. Good morning, Raina! Happy Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving here in America. Big up to those of you in Jamaica, but it's Thanksgiving here in America. Uh, you know, it's a, it's the it's the Keep one of the it's the, the biggest fourth. holiday I should say. Uh, Thanksgiving is bigger than Christmas, believe it or not. It's the biggest holiday here in America where families actually get together, they sit and they eat their turkeys, um, they eat their cranberry sauce, their greens, whatever it is, you know, because America is just busy. And usually when you live here, you usually see family once in a blue, believe it or not, because work just overtake your whole life like family is important yes but you don't get to see them as often as you should because we have work to go to we have businesses to run so on and so forth so thanksgiving is that day thanksgiving or christmas for that matter are In those days mile, where the we, i-87 south deegan expressway exit toward triborough bridge where we come together and we just like sit and talk about life sit and talk about everything uh, my family usually does not have Thanksgiving dinner. We have Christmas dinner. My family usually does uh, Take the Christmas. I-87 South yeah, exit, we do Christmas then merge dinners. On to I-87 South. Um, we do Christmas dinners. We sit and we eat and we cook. That's what we do. We don't really do the Thanksgiving. Usually, people are at work or something like that for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, everybody works. Everybody has a life. Um, and we're Jamaicans, so a lot of Jamaicans. I mean, well, speaking for my family, we don't do it. You know, I don't know if most Jamaicans do it, but you know, once you live here, you just become a part of the culture, whether you, you know, you can't help but to know that it's a holiday. The stores are packed, the streets are empty, the roads are empty right now, kind of, sort of. on I-87 South for uh, six miles. It's kind of, sort of, um, empty because it's still early morning. Um, I know the history with the pilgrims and all these other stuff, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and say I don't I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I do. 
I do. I do celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. After living in America for so many years, I am not going to be a hypocrite and say, oh, I don't do Thanksgiving. It's that sense of belonging, you know? Um, you just feel really homey and it's festive. It's, 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 you know, it's just something to do, you know, especially when it's cold and you haven't seen family in a long time, even though you're not really with the pilgrim traditions and all of that other stuff. I just see it as a day where, you know, families come together and when we come together, we just sit and chat and catch up on old times and stuff like that. You know, even if you're not with the belief system of Thanksgiving, you still come and you you enjoy family. You cook, you eat, you, you talk, you play, you see loved ones, stuff like that, you know? Yeah, man, it's a nice day to get together as family. And, and like I said, even if you're not with tradition, if you're not with tradition and you're not, you know, I just see it as a day to just go somewhere because this time of year is really depressing for a lot of people. It's very depressing for a lot of people. Very, very depressing for a lot of people. And um, it's good to get out there, you know. Um, it gets dark pretty early here, you know, during the winter season, which it's now. You know, it gets dark pretty early. People are usually alienated to themselves. My dad right now, he is in that rehab and he's there, you know, he's getting visitors. I'm going to see him soon, you know, so stuff like that, you know, you don't want people to feel alienated. So if you have, even if you have one friend, invite that friend over, invite that friend over and you and that friend would sit. I remember back when my cousin came here to America a few years ago, she was an exchange student and she came here to study. I was living in Boston she was staying at her host in New Jersey, teen at New Jersey. And I took the bus to visit her and we cooked Thanksgiving. We did Thanksgiving together. Just me and my cousin. We cooked a turkey, we went to the supermarket, we got all this stuff and we did it together as cousins, you know? So you don't have to have, it's good. The more the merrier, yes. But you could just sit together and just have a nice meal and just drink and chat and watch TV. I don't know, just find, make yourself active because depression is real. There are a lot of people suffering from depression and, um, you know, just just go out there and do something, you know, even if you don't feel like it. Um, I heard a story of a lady, right? I heard a story of a lady who was very depressed. Um, she was getting really bad, really bad with her depression. And uh, so one day she said she felt like she was going to jump off a bridge. But what she did, she put on her coat and she just rode the train back and forth to Manhattan and back to the Bronx, to Manhattan and back to the Bronx. And that trip to Manhattan pretty much saved her life. Just the mere fact that she got up, put on her clothes, took the train to Manhattan and came back, it helped, okay? So if you are feeling something like that get up and go do something get up go out there go jog go take a walk something play some music have a drink i don't know um but but keep yourself active do not lay there in bed and, and self-loathe and, and feel depressed in and two miles take exit exit three toward east 138th street madison avenue bridge all right so um don't just sit there and be all sad and stuff and be like oh you know i don't have no family you know, sometimes it just takes you to pick up the phone and call somebody. And they'll be like, you want to come over? Come over. You know, people are very sensitive. The people that I know, they're very sensitive nowadays. And, um, you know, they, 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 they pick up the phone. You'd be surprised. They, they, they might want to hear from you. You're, you know, these people that you don't want to call, you don't want to talk to nobody type of thing. Pick up the phone and call them. They'll probably invite you over to dinner today, you know. I'm a truck driver out here working. This is my first Thanksgiving working. And how does it feel, Claudius? How does it feel? Do you feel lonely? Do you feel like, oh, uh, you feel a void? Because some people do feel a void. You know, they feel a void um, from not being in a familiar space during Thanksgiving. You know, um, they do feel that void. They do feel that void. I guess I'm not going about me. I go down the road. Oh, well, let me know. Too much, too much cut out a lot of sugar out of my life. Everything me, me eat tastes sweet. 
Hey, Christian, how are you? Everything we eat tastes sweet. Ugh, and I'm not diabetic. I'm not diabetic. I have good health. But I don't know. It's something that I did to myself, like where I, I just kind of like decided not to eat too much sugar. I know I'm a baby. Exit exit three toward East 138th Street, Madison Avenue Bridge. But I drink a lot of water. You know, yesterday I bought something and look at the look at what I drank out of it all the time. I never drink the entire thing. I only drink like a quarter of it or something like that. Just something to get my mouth wet and then I just get rid of it. Take something exit about exit three, sugar. then merge onto exterior street. Yeah. No, I don't. Been doing this for four to seven years. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, like you know. So if you, I mean, you do notice a difference when it's the holiday season. In a quarter mile, turn you know, right onto Third Avenue Bridge. You do, you do notice the difference when it's the holiday season. You know, people just look a little way. The roads are empty, so people are gonna feel lonely. We're human. We're social creatures. And so socializing is just natural to us. It's supposed to happen. We're supposed to socially socialize. So, um, yeah, you know, call somebody. I don't know, call somebody. Jesus Christ, this road is on another level of that. Oh, Jesus. Woo, woo, oh, wait. This road is on another level of bad, darlings. I'm dropping in every hole. I can't see where I'm going. Turn right on the Third Avenue Bridge. Good morning. Yeah, man, get up and go out there. Find somebody to talk to. Play some music. Get up and clean. May I go home and go clean right now? My son is up. Um, I don't know what the hell he was doing. This little boy just don't sleep. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know if it's something about him being in his 20s or something, but he does not sleep one bit. So, um, yeah. So he's up all night. I don't know. Don't don't ask me. Okay? You know, clean, whatever. I'm going home to do some laundry and stuff, using this day to get a lot of work in. Maybe I'll go in tonight to work or maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it all depends on how I feel because I'm the type of person like this. I will just be sitting, let, I'll be just in bed the entire time in bed, just laying down, staring in the ceiling on TikTok, on Facebook. And then this, this feeling just says, get up and go bake. So I'll just get up and go bake. You, you never know. You really, really never know, you know? So maybe I'll do one or the other. I really don't know. Hmm. Let's see. That's just how I am, you know. Oh my god, I wish about this yesterday. Okay, I yes I go. Okay. Yes, I go. Jesus, what a looking thing me can read you up. Oh shit, my take around. In 500 feet, oh. turn left to stay on 3rd Avenue. <clears throat> take the next left to stay on 3rd Avenue, my then turn right onto East 134th Street. Oh, wait, oh, what can I do? Oh, what can I do? No, sir. No, sir. I've never been to this side of the Bronx. Turn to East 134th Street, then turn right onto Lincoln Avenue. I never take them road. I never come along the side of the Bronx before. No? Never. Turn right onto Lincoln Avenue, then turn right onto 3rd Avenue Bridge. Yeah, I've never taken this side of the Bronx. I've never come this side of the Bronx before down here different bro yeah yeah this is turn right on the third avenue bridge <clears throat> whenever i come this side of the branch before you see that my ginger fry down here you see that building there you see that yeah they might fix up that my ginger fry down here see In a quarter mile, use the middle lane to turn slightly no, right sir. to stay on 3rd Avenue Bridge. Cooking? No, sir! No, sir! Mm -mm. Oh, I have some of that? Jeez, um. So why bring my all the way down yourself for come here, sir? 
Use the middle lane to turn slightly right to stay on 3rd Avenue Bridge, then continue straight onto East 129th Street. So wait, never just tell me if you come down your and come down your what, what, what Continue GPS straight onto East 129th Street, then that, turn left onto Lexington Avenue. That GPS is extra. Take the even. next left onto Lexington Avenue. We should I get a man a cupcake, you know? I wonder if he wants a cupcake. But I'm not even have my, my gloves them there. Jesus Christ, where my gloves them there. You tell me some I left my gloves them? Nah! Oh! Should I get that money? I look at things, you know, I want What am I going to do with the money? I'm not even have no cash for him. Lord of mercy. Let me get the man the notary the whole of my cash yesterday. I have no dollar sign for him. Turn left, left onto Park Avenue, then turn left on East 128th Street. A lot of mercy. Okay, so I don't get some air come. The, the GPS extra. Why the, the GPS? Take left onto East 128th Street, then turn right onto Lexington Avenue. The GPS really make, make me come all the way. No, it's a GPS. You're too extra. You couldn't just tell myself and just jump on the, the way it named there. I come around here, so. That's why sometimes, you know, you see, we're dependent on GPS so much, sometimes I'm sending it the wrong way. You know what I mean? When you know a shot away. You know what I'm going to there? You know a shot away, but through the GPS, go by maps and all them something, there, it'll take it away there. But you know a shot away. You understand? Mm. I'm not even eat nothing right now, because the coffee is too sweet. I'm going to feel like I want to vomit. I can't even chop. That's why I'm going to drink Starbucks coffee you now. Because Starbucks have a bitterness for kind of offset. I like bitter. You know, anything bitter? I like bitter. Yeah, I like bitter sour. You know, some people love sweets. Me like, me is a different type of, you know. Some people like sweets. Some people like bitter. I am the bitter side. So like bitter, bitter Turn teas right and all Lexington them things Avenue. there. I can drink them things there. They say, oh, this are the, um, oh, okay. I know I'm there now. I never tell me if I come right, that's so. all. My wipe off the lens. Cause the lens kinda dirty. Sorry about that. Better now? Yeah, it better. Look a bit better now. Where am I going now? I'm gonna drop off the cupcakes for the needy. Remember I told you guys I'm doing the cupcakes for the needy? I'm gonna drop off, drop some off. I'm gonna drop them off. Um, I frosted them. Um, they wanted to come pick it up last night, but I told them none of the cupcake them to frost. You know, I'm mean, never rum them up. You know, you want to stop. You want, I mean, never want to just give them the cupcake so 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 so. Yeah, so that's all right. That's even better. Them not have to come that far. <laughs> Everybody take them live far. But not for frost them. I couldn't give them the pian pian cupcakes. No, sir. In 800 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Yeah, yeah. I like this side of the Bronx, the Lexington side. This is the Harlem. Well, this is Harlem, actually. We're going into Harlem. This is the border of Harlem and the Bronx. This is not technically um, Bronx. This is Harlem. So um, it's right near, you know, the west side of the Bronx. You know. Happy Thanksgiving, Sherry. How are you? I'm here going to drop off these um sir don't cross yet don't cross yet yo the black people them don't you look strong you see man like them just come from a different breed but them said them they right just so but then me I look for me to see them yep there they are yay you see the truck right there yeah, yeah, you see the truck? That's where I'm going. The truck across the street right there, but I gotta park. Yeah, yeah. Them there, they park up. You see the truck? No engine. This is a bus stop. Box side to box side. So when we did make the. Oh! Jesus, my car dropped right now. Oh! What a hole big! No, sir! That hole that biggie! <laughs> no, sir! May I say I can't find a different um parking spot because that they're too far. I mean, I walk that far with all them cupcakes here. Yeah. Y'all see the trucks? 
Yo, let me tell you. You see when me spot that truck there? That truck there have a line when I stop you, sir. Okay? That truck there, they're they all about. And when people are buy from that truck there, the line longs a tail. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I'm going to say, who? Oh. And I didn't even know who owned it. This is the this is the, the, the Harlem side. Nuff dance used to keep down here. Nuff um party used to keep down here. Down here, so used to hot back in the nineties. In the nineties, enough money used to make down here, so you know a lot of a lot of crime, but a lot of money. And this is black strong down here, so down here, so near black strong, yeah. Enough man get lock up. Enough Jamaican men who used to hustle down here and all them things they get lock up. Though you know. Don't so used to be the spot, you know, but it's also very rich in history, you know, a lot of black history down here. Um, you know, a lot of black people own properties down here, you know. Um, so it's a mix of everything, it's a mix of, of good and bad, you know. But um, let's speak more about the good. The good part is that a lot of black people own properties that are worth millions down here, millions, and they have passed it down from one generation to the next. Nobody else not own it. You understand? Let me try and make a U-turn and go around. You understand? A lot of black people own properties down there. So you saw the building have enough black people. Yeah. I got to say, I can't bust a U-way, but I have to look at me and pow pow. Let me try and bust a illegal u Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't get more of this because the traffic is not on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But enough rich black people don't ya man enough with own properties and stuff like that. See the Jamaican flag, sorry for the lighting on the eyes. So I'm gonna drop off them cupcakes here, guys. Yeah man, down here used to be party central man for everything. This this used to be big. Me know so I wanna see all I mean enough movies and stuff like that. Yeah man. But they're also rich on history and you know, but nice good place down here, so good good place, yes yeah, sir. All right, guys. Let me go drop off them here to the truck, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, Ladonna. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the cupcakes off. I'll show you pictures later. I'm so excited. I like doing these things, you know. It's, it's, it's just a good, rewarding feeling, you know. When they're giving back, yo, it's very rewarding.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have to give, have to give back, yeah? When you support me enough enough, so I can't give back, can you? You can have one to yourself. Huh? You can have one yourself. Yeah, man, yeah, man, definitely. You can have one. No, man, do that, definitely. One, one of them here, eh? Do one, 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 do one. Say one, say hello to my life. I'm gonna put on your life, man, big up, man, man. Appreciate it, man, you see? Dance of people are the good thing, see you away, you see? Dead. Dead. Enjoy, yeah, later. All right, All right bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That about what? Ten dozen? That was about ten dozen cupcakes. Mm -hmm. The needy are gonna be very happy today. Very, very happy today. <laughs> Wanna support my big time? So hey. That's not that's not breaking my pockets at all. At all, at all, at all. It's not breaking my pocket. Him <laughs> get some cupcakes, him like it, you know? Yeah, man, feel good, man. Because him did not the dance hall to back in the days, you know? Him did not the dance hall back in the days, and you know, the whole I would know one another from back in the days, yeah? The whole I would know one another from back in the days, so. Yeah. Just jump on and. You know? Yeah, man. You have to give back, yo. You have to give back, you know? Have to give back and just get it done. It's the giving season, you know? And, and, and all the time you forgive a cash, you know? Sometimes you can't give a kind, you know? Like food or clothes or. Because sometimes people get the cash, they don't know what to do with it. You know, and, and, and then it gone after a while. You know? Cash gone after a while. So, you get me? So sometimes you can't get that. It's, you know, it's, it's Thanksgiving. What were we, people giving Thanksgiving? Food. Food, right? I'm going to do another drop. Give me a second. Give me a second. This is my morning. <laughs> Give, this is my morning, okay? Oh, I'm just a two miles away from the next place. See? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm thankful. Thankful for business. I'm thankful for business. I'm thankful for a roof over my head. I'm thanking, I'm thankful for food. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my customers. I'm just thankful for everybody out there, um, you know, who is a part of everything Tina Chin Cakes. I'm very thankful for you guys. I really appreciate it. It's the season for food. It's the season for family. It's the season of giving, you know. Uh, these last couple of years have been very stressful on a lot of people. And, um, you know, these, these festive seasons just kind of help us to forget a little bit about our worries or our problems and stuff like that. It helps us to forget, you know. Um, you know, there are a lot of people who went through homelessness because of COVID. You know, the economy took a turn for the worse. And there are a lot of people who died. A lot of people who passed away because of COVID. They're not here today to really celebrate Thanksgiving with their families. You understand me? They're not really here today to celebrate Thanksgiving. And, and some people died not because of COVID, but because of other reasons. So you have to be thankful for life and good health. Let me tell you something. With COVID coming around and all this mess going on, it just made me really thankful for good health over everything else. You know, I know money can come and all of them other stuff there. But if you've had a health scare, you'll understand why 
life is so precious and good health is so precious. You'll understand why. So good health over everything. It's one of the richest things you can have, good health. You understand? Um, not saying you won't get sick, <laughs> Not saying that things won't happen, but when you look at other people and see what they're going through versus how your life is going, maybe it isn't that bad on you, right? Yeah, look at some people. They're losing a leg or they have lost a leg. They have lost an arm, something like that. But you still have the whole of your limbs. You still have the whole of your limbs, you know? You still have your limbs. You still have your sight, you know? You don't have cancer. You don't have any debilitating diseases. Stuff like that, you just have to give God thanks for. Yeah, man. You have to give him thanks for those things. Oh, man, I you just said. You've had your, yeah, health is wealth. <clears throat> health is definitely wealth. Especially since I had a health scare. Health is wealth. Trust me. You don't know what it is until you're actually in it. Till you're actually experiencing it and it's one scary shit of course they have things to fix it but it's still scary going through the experience very scary very very scary very scary going through the experience telling you man very scary you know mm -hmm. so Give God that, you know. I'm gonna go make another drop right now, and then um, actually two more stops. This and another stop. Then I gotta I gotta do something real quick. You understand? Happy Thanksgiving is the season of giving. If it's even an ice mint, give somebody some ice mint. I don't know. Give somebody something. It makes the holidays worth experiencing, right? Happy holidays, everyone. Don't forget about the Black Friday sale that's coming. Don't forget about the Black Friday sale that's coming up. Um, it drops at midnight. Uh, hopefully, I'll get my scruples together by the time. It drops at midnight. Um, and so, make sure you're a part of the deal. Um, yeah, health is strength, man. Just do good. Do good. Just be a good person. Be a human being. Be a good human. You know what I mean? Be a good human. Be a good human. You understand? Be a good human. <clears throat> Be a good human. That's all you have to. Be a good human. End of story. All right, guys. May I do my run, my run from early because the roads are going to be filled today even though it's thanksgiving there are a lot of people who are going to be on the roads today and i don't want to be caught up in a mess i don't like crowds um and stuff all right so i'll talk to you guys later let me go make my drop let me focus on where i'm going <clears throat> i'll come back on later i'm mean, gonna know if the address in parlor open today but i would really love to go get my ear done i want a ear style no sir Exit 7N, may I come off? A 7N? Granted. I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, COVID, COVID definitely exposed that there are a lot of mentally unstable people. <laughs> what bag of bad people? What? <clears throat> and they don't want to go get them themselves checked. Them think them normal. They think they're perfectly normal, darlings. Okay? These people think they're normal. And what's worse, they're coming on the internet. Um, what's worse is they're coming on the internet being a pain in the ass to everyone else. And they're mentally unstable. That's the, that's the sad thing. That's the sad thing, Robert Evans. They're coming on the internet with their mental unstableness instead of going to go get themselves checked. And they're being a problem to everyone else. Yep. Let my fix up. Don't you son? Don't you son? It's like a big thing, a confusion. No, sir. God is good. <coughs> I have another drop to make after this one. Thanksgiving. This is usually me every holiday. Since I've started baking, this is me. This is me every holiday. I am never not doing something on a holiday. 
I have to literally say, Law, listen, me nah do nothing. You understand? Yeah, this is me every holiday. Every holiday. What the hell is this shit right here? This is me every holiday. But it, it, it's fine, it's working. It's my money, it's my bread and butter. I'm not complaining. It's my bread and butter, so me, me not complain. Nope. <laughs> call my dad in a few and see how he's doing so don't forget about the black friday sale tomorrow guys i will talk to you later have a good day enjoy your breakfast i'm here in london visualizing you as a motivational speaker <laughs> I will touch so many of you souls when me start talk. Trust me. When me talk, me not touch enough on a soul. Because enough things me I got you with nobody know about. And I would definitely, or no one knew off. I'ma just take it like a G. Nobody knew about what me did I got you back then. So I know I would definitely inspire a lot of people. And um, these are real experiences. Not fabricated, not generalized experiences, not quotes. You know not quotes or anything these are real experiences real experiences you understand <laughs> that's the voice how are we there that's the voice baby love the voice the voice mm -hmm. that's that voice that's that passion that's that strength coming through yeah, man, Nordy. Thank you. Trust me. I say, I have a fire burning in me, see, man. I have a flame burning in me, see. I sure you know, but I put it out in my work. I put it out in my baking. I put it out in my work. When you look at my work, when you say, look, can't believe me alone I, I do this thing, right? Mm -mm. Me a marketing director. Me a the logistics. Me a every damn thing. Me alone I do everything. Market, yeah. The brand ambassador, me a everything. Everything is to come up, I me do it. My labels I mean everything and I mean the enemy print design them about I'm me behind everything yeah I am behind pretty much everything yeah man but us redirect it to my business yeah no need to get angry no need to get mad no need to come on the internet cussing and yelling and screaming no but us redirect my anger to my business and it turned out very well. Yeah. Yeah, man, look at my business. What? Oh, Amazon. What? Oh, what? Murder. Murder that. Murderation that. Plus some other things. Murderation. Plus some other experience. Some, some big things we are going to happen. Murderation that. It's not a business about me. But just want to push the brand. I know I'm either behind the brand, but I rather push the brand than me. You understand? I'm just kind of different. Yeah, man, I'm different than everyone. I'm different. I'm not, I'm not in the hype thing. I hype my brand. I hype my cakes, them. I hype my cupcakes, them. I hype those things. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm shy, no? I'm shy. <laughs> those things me just sitting at the back um, and just push the products forward yeah so a lot of things in the making and i'm really happy about that and i give thanks for those things and like i said earlier i give thanks for my customers no i haven't started with amazon yet um amazon takes a lot of stuff and i have to go i have i need time and through the, the season so busy right now i'm gonna, I'm gonna have the for doing to me i forgot i asked somebody for doing for me and that is not cheap you understand? Yeah, me have to put some money aside. You know, so I get up this morning and me I go through my iPhone, right? And as me I go through my iPhone, me I said, damn, I'm not space. So me have to start delete certain things, you know? Because you know when you have iPhone, they might tell you to buy more space and all them farting. And the Venmo app is on my phone. The Venmo app, right? 
So I sit down there and I go, oh, what is? You know, when, when something, when you get a notification, you see like a red mark on the app for making you know, so you get a, a notification. So I'm going at the Venmo now. When I'm going at the Venmo, $500 in my Venmo. $500 in my Venmo. From about three to four months now. Three to four months to five hundred dollar in my Venmo. Five hundred dollar in my Venmo. Eh? Just sit down there. Sit down. Just sitting there. Just, just chilling. It's just chilling. In my Venmo. Just sitting there chilling. I said, what a great way. I said, today is going to be a very good day. Today is going to be a very good day. Very good day. What? Just chilling, just sitting there. I was like, what the? <laughs> I want me to look for it. I said, oh, I delete. I'm ready for delete the app, you know? Come here and say, all right, I don't really use Venmo. I use it. I use it for a few customers who use it. But really and truly, I don't use Venmo. I really don't. You know? And I delete. I'm ready for delete the app, you know? You want me to go back to radio, Robert? Ah, you want me to go back to radio? <laughs> radio didn't pay, honey. Radio did not pay. I, I probably will do a podcast later on. I don't know, man. I don't know. My business has taken like front, 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 front. You know, it's it's my front space right now. My business. I don't know. It's just something that I enjoy doing. You know, maybe down the line I'll get tired of business and do something else. But how can am I gonna? How am I gonna get tired of business? It makes me so um busy. I like that. It makes me. It gives me something to do. You know, um, and it pays my bills. You know, it pays my bills, and um, you know. Radio, radio is nice. Radio is like a little hobby. But to say, okay, um, I don't know yet. To go back, I don't know. I really don't know. You know? I don't know. But I'm just happy to say that I did a lot of things in life. So, you know, I can I could just try something else and try something. I just did a lot of things. I'm going to bring my charity back next year. My charity is coming back next year. In case you guys haven't realized, I'm bringing back my charity, um, Lady Mermaid Charity. I'm bringing it back in 2022, and that's going to be in conjunction with Tina Chin Cakes. Um, yeah, I took a long pause to pretty much focus on, you know, building myself as a businesswoman and just, you know, because I was doing charity a long time ago and it wasn't really... Um, I needed to go out there and, and make something for myself, you know. It was good to help other people, but it's it was time for me to kind of like put it on the back for a little bit and just go build myself and make sure that I'm a little bit more stable than I was in the past um, because you all know my story. So now that I have a bit of stability working for me, what I'll do now is to go back into the charity world and, um, you know, hopefully my business can somewhat fund that charity and um, help a lot of people who need it you know my concentration I won't let you know right now what it is because it's something that I have to put um, on paper but um, you'll eventually know you know 2022 Lady Mermaid Charities um, mermaid is just a name I've had over the years Lady Mermaid is a is a name I've had over the years it's a moniker that I've used over the years so I'm just gonna make it into a charity you know it's a name that I earned <laughs> I earned that name from wearing a lot of long weaves back in the days you know when I used to party a lot I used to wear a lot of long weaves down and I'm a buck this is before all of these women were wearing inches you know um, <laughs> I used to buy a lot of pony or back in the days and I earned the name Lady Mermaid. So I just decided to use it for something positive. Um, not that dance hall wasn't positive, but I just, just I, I like the name Lady Mermaid. So I, I'm just going to use it for the charity and um, go back to dig up, dig up some other stuff and just start putting it into works and stuff like that. Lady Mermaid Charities in conjunction with Tina Chin Cakes. Um, coming in 2022, I have a lot of uh, structure to just st straighten out in 2022. What those are, besides the charity, I won't let you know. You just have to sit back and look and see for yourself. Um, yeah, but 
it's, it's good. It's good stuff. It's a good look. And these are all things that I've done for myself. Nobody has ever... Yeah, I had a charity before, Ioni. It wasn't a legal on paper charity. It was registered, but the 501, um, the 50, the thing with the IRS wasn't um, official. So that part of it has to go through. It is registered and everything, just the actual other legal paperwork to make me tax exempt with certain things that has to be put in place first. I'm going to have my lawyer deal with that. Um, and of course, tied under the business type of thing. Um, yeah, but I did have a charity before, um, back in the days. I had a charity back in 2015, um, you know, 2015, 2016, 2017. I did charity for a good, probably three to four years I did charity. I buried a lot of dead people. <laughs> um, I um, helped to pay. You guys helped me. When I say I, I'm not just talking about me. So let me just rephrase that. We helped to pay a lot of school fees um, in Jamaica. We helped to feed a lot of um, people, especially during the holidays. Um, oh, which reminds me. Nordine, it's just pure ignorance. Their, their bashing is ignorance and pretty much, it's just ignorance. That's why they do it. They don't want me to look good. And the fact that they don't want me to look good is what's making it's it's what's pushing me more because they are doing the most trying to let me try to make me look negative to the world. You know what I mean? But they don't write my story. I write my own story. So they can they can try all they want. It's not gonna they're just trying very hard to make me look bad to the world because there's just something about me that just makes gets them upset. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my ambitions, maybe it's my strength. It may be, I don't know what it is, but they're fighting very hard to make me look negative to people. And they're doing the most on the internet to make me look negative to people. That's their business though. They don't write my story. So, um, like I said, which reminds me, it's December. And so we're going to give away the grocery bags, the food bags to a lot of people throughout the 14 parishes of Jamaica. Something that I've actually done every year. Uh, this is nothing new. So we're going to give away the grocery bags, um to some needy families back home in Jamaica. Something that I've always done, nothing new to me. Um, I did see it, I did see it, Kendria, I did. I just haven't had a chance to screenshot it and post it yet. Girl, I am so busy. Thank you, El Alethea, thank you, I appreciate it. But um, they're trying to make me look bad. That's all it is. They're trying to change the narratives out there because I've worked so hard on my image. They now are coming, trying to tear down the image because they want someone else to shine and not me. That's basically what it is. Jealousy and they want who they want. They want who they want to shine and not me. I never knew that part of life was a competition. I never knew my story was a competition with anyone I was just doing what I felt like doing or what I thought right as a human to do. You know, it was nothing about competition with, every, with anyone. But um, leave it up to negative people. Leave it up to people who see everything as a competition. That's what they do. They're very negative, very uneducated. Um, they're without heart. They're not human, you know, and it's all about their pockets, really. Um, and it's all about fame and their pockets and you know how far they can reach on the backs of poor people that's basically what it is for them you know um they probably will retire as a millionaire that's what they want that's that's good for them um me on the other hand i'm a different person i can't be like them you know that's them i have a conscience i i can't be like them you know so you know they blame me for everything because of what they're lacking within themselves um, that's why they blame me. They blame me for everything because of what they're lacking. They don't have the courage to stand in front of a mirror and look at themselves and correct what's wrong with themselves. They have an issue with me because I can face my past and I can face my wrongs and correct my wrongs. They can't do that. They have an issue with me because I'm a go-getter. They're not. They have an issue with me because I can stand on my own and they cannot. They need a whole crew. They need to, to be a part of a group. I don't have to be a part of a group. 
Uh, they are looking for validation. I am not. Um, you know, I don't need another person or persons to make me feel good about myself. I can validate my own self. Um, yeah, so the, they need they need a crew. You know, they they them like stand up behind a people. Men are like stand up behind a people. You know, um, it, it's just a lot. Just just name it. It's out there. That's the reason why they're trying to make me look bad to everyone else because they have issues with themselves and they're trying to deflect it on me. It's not my fault. Mm -mm. It's not my fault. It is not my fault what's going on with them in their lives. It is not my fault. And I am not going to give it too much brain because I need to focus on my business. I really do need to focus on my business. It's a really great business. And you guys are just constantly flooding my website. Why should I be angry at anybody? They're trying to project this um, this thing to make it seem like, oh, she's so angry and she bad mind and she in our care every day. A cuss cuss, a people not appear in the mind. No, 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 no. Uh, 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 that, uh, Stop. Stop. They need to look in the mirror. It's actually the other way around. Yeah, really successful people don't do that. Yeah, really successful people don't attack another person and do what they're doing. But I guess nothing, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't have the answers, darling. I just got to give God thanks for what I am I am earning and how you guys are supporting me and my business. And that's where my focus is, on my business. I don't give a shit. I really don't. Because if I did give a crap, I wouldn't be doing business. I would just sit back and feel broken I'd sit back and feel defeated. I'd sit back and feel, you see how they're going out of their way to try to undermine me to people, to for people to look down on me. That's what they're doing to make to make themselves feel better about who they are. You understand me? Um, somebody put out a comedy sketch about me? No, I didn't see it. I haven't seen any comedy sketch about me, period. And I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't seen, I haven't watched any comedy sketch. But I will tell you this. In order for somebody else to become famous, they have to attach themselves to somebody who's already famous. Uh, so take that for what it is, okay? If you want to become, if somebody wants to become famous, they will fabricate or um, they would uh, manufacture some beef in order for them to become famous too. Because the minute they call Tina's name, oh boy, everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know. And that's the way how they build themselves. And I'm very humble about that. Yes, that's the way how they build themselves. They just call Tina's name and they they manufacture stuff and they build stuff and they, you know, oh yeah, people are gonna believe me. Yeah, make a study, so make a set up. Hey, more business for me, more publicity for me. It's not good publicity, but it's the, it's publicity. Within yesterday when they were calling up my name a lot, look how many sales I did on my website within that that hour or so they were talking about me. Each time they call my name, I just start running my ads. <laughs> Ask my friends about me. If you know my friends, they'll tell you. Tina is at home in bed, cocking up in our bed and laughing her ass off. Every time they talk about me negatively, I put up my ads. Because guess what? I know they're going to run over to my page and they're going to want to see what's going on. And that's, that's advert. Oh, they talk about me doing other jobs. Hey, I don't know. I don't know. Listen to me. I I don't own a pair of, a pair of scrubs. I don't own a pair of scrubs, Judith, but I am going to buy a pair of scrubs just for that. I'm going to buy a pair of scrubs and I am going to um, wear it in my bakery. Hmm. I don't, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to buy a pair of scrubs and wear it in my bakery. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to wear it in my bakery. And when I'm baking, maybe tonight or tomorrow, if I have time, if anywhere is open today, um, I'm going to go see if I can buy a pair of scrubs and wear it as a uniform. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna bake in scrubs. I don't own a pair, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bake in scrubs. <laughs> I'm gonna bake in scrubs. So I'm gonna go. Um. Oh boy, my boobies. So I'm gonna um. 
I want the Fordham Road open. I go buy, I go go a Fordham Road and buy me a pair. What color? What color? Probably yellow. No man, sometimes Fordham Road open. Fordham Road is normal, you know? You think Fordham Road is normal? Sometimes Fordham Road open. Mm hmm. <coughs> sometimes Fordham Road open. Thank you, Charmaine. And even if, just to think about it, even if. I was what they claim I am. What would that be? A problem? <coughs> what? Why would that be? What? Why would that be a problem to them? Wouldn't that be a job? And what would that be? You're looking down on somebody for doing something like that? Really? Mm. Oh, interesting. <coughs> mm. Oh well. Well, let them talk, darlings. I didn't know. Let them talk, baby love. That's their mouth. Me just such the advert. They're very threatened by who I am, which is why they go all the way to undermine me. Look at what they're doing. I mean, these people are actually checking to see if I'm shipping packages, if I'm shipping a lot of packages. I am so thankful for you customers, honestly. I am so thankful. I am not the type of business person. I think it's really tacky to come out and try to prove anything to anyone. I don't think how much sales I do is anyone's business. You know, it's not anyone's business. You know, certain things I do, it's pretty much for social media marketing purposes. And that's it. Um, I am not a child. I'm not five years old. I feel like certain things should be private. And that's what it is. I am not going to put my business out there to to prove anything to anybody, to non-factors. Non Are you crazy? You crazy? Why would I put my whole business out there? Yes, I'm not going to do that. Savannah, hell no. I'm a grown-ass woman. I've been around, darlings. I am not going to do that mess. Please. I am not going to do that mess to try to prove. Believe whatever the hell you all want to believe. I don't give a shit. I don't care. This is me. Transfer. Transfer. Okay. Plus add. Black plus add. Plus add. Plus add. Subtract. Transfer. That's me. Okay, I have no time for the bullshit. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. What's going to be on your table today? Ear is going to be on my table today. I probably cook some ribs. I have ribs. So I'm going to cook some ribs. You want me to call my bank to see how much I'm having on my bank account? Hold on. Hold on. I can call my bank for so much I'm having on my bank account. One moment. Give me a second. I'm going to do this. Thanksgiving. Give God thanks. Share the life. Share the life. Share the life. Share the life. Like and share. Like and share. I'm going to call the bank and see how much money I have in my bank account. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna call the I'm gonna call and find out because I wanna do it too. Everybody's doing it. I'm gonna call the bank. I'm gonna call the bank. Leave me alone. <laughs> Y'all ready? Um I'm a Bluetooth. I'm gonna get my Bluetooth. No, I'm going to call the bank. Hold on. Give me a second. I don't want, me don't want to hear my passcode. So I turn down the, the Bluetooth. I don't want to hear my passcode. Like and share. Like and share. Like and share. I'm going to my bank account balance. Like and share. Like and share. Your ear juice. She said she want ear too. Like I share people. Bank account balance. Bank account balance coming. Bank account balance to the thing. May I turn on the Bluetooth? Hold on. I'm going to do it. What's, what's the worst to happen? What's the worst to happen, Nordine? It's Thanksgiving. I'm giving God thanks for my bank account balance. <coughs> Like and share.
I can share. We're going to um talk about our bank account balance. Okay? Ready? Okay. You don't want me to do it? Then who asks for the bank account balance? Who asks for the bank account balance a while ago? We don't want to hear the bank account balance. Come on. For my wig. My wig look like sitting. But you know... It's a joke, make a do it, cause I like you say fair enough, I like me, me no normal enough, my head no normal enough. And my head take me from now and then enough. Come on, phone, you did it on. I want the Bluetooth command for going to the balance. Me keep a fair reverse or a Happy Thanksgiving, squaddies. No. I want to keep. Oh, come here, sir. Why it not connect? May I bring my car? I'll go get it. Um. Account available balance is $12,617,290. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account A suitcase over yes, sir. Our purse are gone. That never pick. A wee say suitcase and barrel over yes, sir. A suitcase and barrel a do it. A suitcase and barrel a do it. Your checking account available balance is twelve million six hundred seventeen thousand two hundred ninety dollars and fifty six. Your checking account available balance is Lord of mercy. All right, guys, enough for the arms. Up. <laughs> Yo, murder. Anyways, guys, me talk to you later. Here, I'm gonna go and enjoy the Thanksgiving dinner. The Black Friday sale coming out at midnight. <laughs> you know what? Hear it again before I go. Black Friday sale coming out at midnight. Big up on the damn self. I'm thankful for all of my customers. Big up on the self. My customers, big up on the damn self. You understand? Yo, God good in a man. God is so good to me. Look here. Last night alone. Last night alone, you know. Jesus, God is so good to me and I deserve it. Yeah, man. Last night alone. You know, sometimes I get up and a man in my head hurt me. 
keep the promos coming whatever it is keep it coming big up to everybody who are promote my website I'm thankful for all of you guys big up thank you for promoting my website yeah yeah Thank you for promoting my website. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Bye-bye.